they send you? If you're talking about your former buddies at Bell Tower, the answer is no. Wait a minute. You're Jensen, right? I heard that some of my former buddies have been looking for you. Yeah. It seems no matter how many of their friends I send back in body bags, they just don't get the message. For the sin of their mouths, the words of their lips, let them be trapped in their pride. You've dropped the Merc gig to become a man of the cloth? Hardly. I just have an interest in theology. And I love quoting the book. Everything in it is so evocative. Now, tell me, are you here to stop me? That I am. Then perhaps you should reconsider. There are many of us, and only one of you. At this moment, my men and I have no quarrel with you. So you don't have to die for a war that isn't yours. I said I was here to stop you, not fight you. A friend of yours sent me to convince you to turn yourself in. Let me guess. Dr. Wing, right? He's a good man. And I know he's only trying to do what he thinks is right. But he doesn't quite grasp the whole picture here. Then why don't you enlighten me? Start by explaining why you went rogue. When an average man decides he no longer shares his employer's views and opts to leave, we say he's handing in his resignation. When men like us do the same, it's called going rogue. You can't quit a job like ours, Jensen. You know that. Okay, so you didn't agree with your boss. Doesn't mean you have a right to go about killing people. Just because you feel like it. I won't let you. What makes you think you could stop me? You might hurt some of us, but in the end, my men and I will win. If you make us fight. You're a rogue agent who passes judgment on people and then executes them. You knew there was only one way this would end. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. Just who the hell do you think I am?